Hello, I'm driving the new Mercedes C-Class, but I'm not driving alone because there's someone special joining me today. Okay, I have reached. That's her house. I can't find the bell. Hi. I am good, yes. Yeah. Meet Krupa Zubin. She is the founding partner of the award-winning firm ZZ Architects located in Mumbai. She is one of the leading female architects in the country and also among the industry's most sought-after design professionals. Now let's find out where we are heading next. So you're giving me water. I thought that that would be coffee. <laughs> so he said he doesn't have tea, coffee. So I said nothing better than water. But uh, we are going to take you through the city, looking at cars from his perspective, and looking at design and uh, architecture from my perspective. So off camera, okay. what do you think of the car? <laughs> I think it's an aspirational thing, right? To have a car which is which is something like a Mercedes. It's something that probably the earlier generation always resonated with. And what do you think about the design of the dashboard and all? Yeah, glossy. I've always personally gone in for lighter colors, natural finishes, wood. You tell me, you are the one driving. So, you know, see, my hmm. my aspect of looking at a car is uh, more design. And uh, you know, like the kind of form on the dashboard and the, the screen, and a lot of these smaller nuances on that front, and also comfort. So, what do you think of the screen? Yeah, it's, I mean, I think tech has become such an integral part of all these cars these days, right? So, this is something called as NBUX, Mercedes-Benz User Experience. So, it's just so easy to navigate here. This huge 11.9-inch portrait screen, vertical screen, very nice in terms of graphics and all. You can just browse through stuff very quickly or dual zone climate control air conditioning and then you can actually save your own settings mm -hmm. in terms of where the seat position is in terms of how you want the climate and all mm -hmm. uh, and you can activate it using a biometric sensor so when you put your finger here yeah. it activates the biometric sensor and there it's able to load your own profile so what else do you use your biometric for here you can save a lot of things like your seat position your choice of how you want the music system to play the air conditioning we were talking about speeding and safety. This car has got something known as Advanced Driver Assistance System, which yeah. is known as ADAS. I'm close to that car. It will give me a warning, which is like a forward collision warning. Yeah. And in case that guy breaks and I don't react in the same time, it will automatically apply brakes, which is known as automatic emergency braking. I've experienced that. Mm -hmm. And then we had to go and turn it off because our city is pretty different, right? I mean, you, you kind of get that situation every, every once in a while. See? Yeah, such an important function of the car. <laughs> I've got you to my favorite part of the city. Yeah. Next, I'll take you to my... But I mean, it's amazing, right? I mean, when you see the entire Queen's necklace and the length of how much exposure to water we have. And the that's coastal. the reason we cannot have outer ring road because yeah. we have water on one side, the sea. So now this coastal road is coming, which is obviously going to be epic. It's a massive engineering exercise. Yeah. What do you think about the design aspect of such a road? More I mean, it's going to be the heart of connecting the city in many ways. But I think apart from that, as somebody who is going to be using the space, I. I really look forward to all that's going to happen around the coastal road which is as important as the road itself. The kind of green spaces that it will have, the cycling tracks, a jogging track out there. So areas which will encourage people to just come to the coastal road not only to be working and connecting from one space to another. Or for people like me just pointlessly driving because the road is so good. <laughs> and, and I would be sitting next to that because I mean but it's going to be an amazing road to probably take a lovely drive and you know. Uh, understand what the city is as of today in 2023-2024. You love to drive. I mean, I've seen some of your things and... So what yeah. happens is that this is the reason for Nariman Point is at night, the roads are empty. Like yeah. the freeway is very empty. Yeah. So it's a good time to come. Obviously while coming, I get a lot of traffic. 
I have dinner and then drive back. So that drive at night is really nice. Do you speed? How high do you go on? Not more than 60 or 80. <laughs> Somebody is being safe. So this is a 3D map. Yeah. And Bombay never look cleaner than this. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, the roads in Bombay are looking much more simpler. For once, I think I can drive. <laughs> These are amazing. I mean, you see the realistic city ahead of you. And and I think their indications are pretty different from what we see out here. What What's the name of the street? Which street? This street. <laughs> How would I know? I'm not a cabbie. <laughs> give, give, give me a license back. <laughs> it's got almost all the features which flagship cars like the S-Class had maybe 10 years back. So luxury is coming to more models, yeah. especially like the C-Class. Now this is obviously a very iconic car for Mercedes. Yeah. And if you see the design aspect, both from the outside as well as the inside, mm. it's a mini S-Class. Mm -hmm. Right. Even this whole dashboard design, the way the screens are done, everything is right. done. It will remind you of the S-Class, their flagship. But I do agree to what you're saying, like in the sense that there is um, luxury at a better price. It's accessible to so many more and with, do they manufacture here? I mean, yeah, just yeah, they do manufacture in here. So, I mean, everybody is beginning to manufacture a part of it. I know there are things that are assembled in India, they are manufactured in India, but it's it's I mean it's a it's a great thing it's all beginning and you have access to global brands. How important are colors in terms of design? No, I think it's very important. I know there is like an ambient lighting, but there's also something called the vitality mode. I'm you scared. Know, you know more about cars than me, <laughs> no. and I don't know more about design than you. <laughs> no. So we have the most iconic structure of yeah. India, the yeah. Gateway of India right behind. Yeah. So what do you think about the design of the Gateway of India? I mean, it's a pre-independent structure and the beauty is that it's actually a simple doorway, right? I mean, it's it's monumental in terms of its proportions, not its size, but also the kind of impact that it has around with people. I mean, I think architecture is the way uh, people respond to it. Also, when you travel abroad to the European cities, you you see a lot of these structures, right? That have become tourism points. So I think on that front, it really and that's the reason, like it's full of people right now. I think anybody coming from another city would say, "Ha, aaj to gateway jana hai," right. and that's the beauty. So you people know? coming from other cities, for them, it's not the gateway as much as it is Mannat. <laughs> <laughs> that's another thing. I was going to say it's Merli ceiling, sure. it's gateway, and then maybe you know the Bollywood home that you would go to in Bandra, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, these are three like tick off to do lists. So this is the C300D. It's a very powerful diesel engine. Okay. Amazing performance. This is a car which actually feels very exciting to drive. So Mercedes is known for luxury, yeah. but they also make sure that their cars are amazing to drive. No, that I agree. And uh, honestly, not because, I mean, this is not sponsored for anybody who is possibly, you know, mm. uh, watching. And for me, I'm just doing it on a friendly note. But uh, I've always got good service from Mercedes. I, I own one of the cars from them. And, Which one uh, is it? Uh, uh, the Maybach, but mm. uh, I, I mean, it's they've been quite uh, nice and prompt. I want to understand your outlook towards design with respect to the most expensive freaking building uh, in all of India. Which is the most expensive freaking building we are coming there, I get your point. Mm. I know years ago when it was done, I mean, there was so much uh, controversy on that. And to me, when I looked at it, I thought, what a futuristic family. Mm. I mean, because even if I went to New York and I was sitting in a cab and, you know, I said, oh, then he said, uh, you're from India, I said, yeah. He said, ah, oh, that is where the residence is, you know. Mm -hmm. So everybody knew about Antilla, if that's what you're talking about. Yeah, of course, yeah. of course. <laughs> <laughs> it's a landmark. Then here comes another landmark. I mean, I don't know if you know this building, it's Kanchan Janla. It was done by Charles Courier. So it's got these decks and such a subtle statement. It's another very strong landmark if you're an architect or a budding architect. You would know. I don't have that eye because I've been on this road <laughs> a thousand times and I've never seen this building. So guys who, who are watching this, I mean, don't only be focused on design uh, with cars and bikes and whatever. Don't listen uh, to her. Have to <laughs> talk about design within your homes because what changes your life more than cars is the way you live. If you had to describe Mercedes in three words, yeah. what would it be? Or three words for Mercedes-Benz? Comfort, maybe understated luxury and uh, value for money. Value for money, I mean because I think if you spend your hard-earned money on something and then it lasts you well through the years, that is important. So I tell, always tell my clients, you know, just spend on your homes because 
that's going to change the way you wake up and you know you react and you kind of experience your day so my key takeaway from this would be you're saying when as much as you want or can on a car um uh, first your house <laughs> first your homes your lifestyle and then the car first you're putting your is. business interests over my I'm business interests <laughs> i think it's important to uh, give ourselves and our spaces within which we begin our day with and end our day with and are, are going to be staying with us for you know as long as we own it uh, and they are not depreciating they are appreciating <laughs> bad draw early Please late Please think yes yes that's the second look at that yes see see it's a sunday so what do you think about the design of bandavali sale again it's another defining landmark of our city as such but some people love to drive yeah it's a it's a great place you must be coming here often right yeah yeah it's an amazing road to drive on especially a car like this a c class especially in 300d guys it's just amazing The good part of the view cars is also the panoramic roof. I mean, it looks really lovely from here. And that's another feature in the cars that I personally really enjoy because you can see the towering heights and yeah. you can see things that you would normally miss out in terms of the architecture of the city because of the roof. Well, we had a wonderful journey through the suburbs, and after a lot of delightful conversation about design and the fabulous C-Class, it was time to say goodbye. Thank you for watching. If you like this video. Do give it the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe.